Yeah, this video is for those that sent their coins to Binance and then they are having difficulty recovering it back. So if you want to know that, stay tuned to the end. There's a process right now, right? Subscribe if you are not already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And if you have subscribed to this uh, channel, I'm so grateful to you guys. You guys are the real MVP. You are my G. All right, so I'm glad that you're here. So let's build this community to 1,000 subscribers so that we can be moving faster, faster, faster to the permanent side. Even though there's no permanent side, though. yeah, there's a permanent side. All right, and that's where everybody is well to do. All right, and uh, so. Uh, some persons send their coin to Binance and maybe they send it through with, without memo or right? most people send their coin without memo or they have one or two reasons why the coins aren't reflecting all right this particular one happened to me today i sent the coin to Binance and it didn't reflect but after some you know uh, going through some processes i discovered that there's actually a process within Binance not the customer care whatever there's actually a process within Binance that you could use it a, 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 at the click of a button and then your coin will be resolved or maybe uh, recovered for you. All right. And uh, this is prior to the other videos that I've made before now. And you all know that you cannot recover a coin that is sent to an exchange. Reason being that the exchange is totally in control of the wallet. You don't have recovery phrase because whatever wallet that you have that have recovery phrase that is sent coin to a wrong uh, token address there's always a way that it could be recovered back because of the recovery phrase that it has all right but when it comes to exchange where you have to do some settings if you have an issue you have to contact customer care you know there are some bit of little uh, problem with that except the customer care decide to, to help or the support of the system decide to help you out you can't recover your coin all right uh, but Binance have decided to add a little twist, even if not all coins could be recovered, all right? Not all could be recovered, especially those coins that are not listed on their platform. So if you send like a save moon to Binance, when it is not yet listed on the platform, you won't, you won't be able to recover it. So uh, what, what actually happens in this case is uh, Binance have decided that they've added an extra button that is not in the customer care section, it is not even the help button center uh, section. It is at the very conspicuous transaction area where I'm going to show you before this video runs out. All right, so uh, I'm going to show you that right now. So with that now, you could do some recovery. But one thing is sure, you should make sure that you have control of the source where the coin was sent from because when the coin is recovered, it will be automatically, it will be automatically sent back to the source where uh, the coin uh, was uh, sent from, all right? So just stay tuned to the end of the video. Now, I have made a lot of videos about coin recovery and a lot of persons have taken actions when and their coin has been recovered, but you know, it baffles me. Most persons are not actually testifying, although most persons are trying their best to testify and then appreciate, which is very good. I'm, I'm just glad that you you find whatever video I'm uploading useful. You know, some people do give some negative comment like, oh, my tutorial is shit, all right? But I'm not looking at those things, all right? But what I'm happy about is for those that have recovered their coins, that sent in positive comments, uh, I'm, I feel satisfied with those with, with those uh, kind of results and those that have actually recovered for, okay? And this there's one more thing I need to mention before I proceed with this tutorial right here. There are some Bida spots in this video, so watch this video to the end so that you learn everything, even the secret, even the little hack. Yes, I'm going on, I'll be clicking on it, and I believe you already have a Binance account and you know whatever I am doing right now. If you don't know what I'm doing right now, uh, check out my other videos, all right? So, so if you don't have an account, check the link below and register a Binance account, all right? So Normally, most persons contact me and they tell me, uh, uh, bro, I sent my coins to, to, to somebody and I discovered that the person was a scammer or something. All right, those kind of coins, you need to just report to the relevant authorities. It's not in my, I am not, I am not a transaction reverser. And the video I made is not 
is not trying to tell you to, uh, it's not teaching you how to reverse the transaction. It's only telling you on how to find where the, the missing token where you sent it to. All right. So now, most people sent a coin to Binance without a memo. All right. When you send coins to Binance without a memo, Binance is an exchange, but they provided uh, a way in which that such coins can be recovered. And let me just go straight into it without missing words. So just click on your wallet, then click on deposit. Now, when you click on deposit, now let me assume. Okay, let me just let me just. Okay, we we are on wallet right now. Okay, click on spot. Now, when you click on spot, now you will see this uh, this little conspicuous icon right here. All right, that look like a, a clock in between a rectangle. Now, click on it. It it's actually trying to tell you the transaction history. Now, this display the history of all your transactions you ever carried out. Now, within this now, there is this little check button right here that says deposits not arrived, check solution. Now, click on that link. Now, when you click on that link, now Binance are provided within that section an opportunity if you have sent a coin to this wallet and the coin has not reflected or you have sent, uh, maybe, you did not, maybe you sent it without a token or something. You can actually, you, you can actually uh, uh, have it done right here. You can actually click on this, all right, that click here. So here now you can choose the token that you sent and that is not yet reflected here, all right, that you sent to this platform without memo that is not yet reflected here, all right, and the token has to be in the list of the coins that they have. Then now when you choose that token, all right, let's say whatever coin you sent here, all right, I believe you can use this process to do other recovery uh, mode, all right, you can read what is here, it says, please fill the application form, I will assist you in retrieving your asset, all right, then please note that in order to maximize the security of your asset, they will be returned to the source once retrieved, that means your coin will be returned to the source where it came from, so now let me assume you choose, let's say, Matic right here now, now source sender's address, now, you copy and paste the address of the source where the coin was sent from all right and then you the deposit amount you enter the amount that was sent here which you can if you have forgotten you can go use the hash id to get and then copy the hash id and paste here and then you submit all right if you've done other submission you can view the record right here all right you can actually view the record right here so with this right now, you can recover your coin that you sent to Binance without a memo, or a coin that you sent to Binance to the wrong, to the wrong, to the wrong address, to the to the wrong contract ID. Or, or, okay, okay, that is to the wrong network rather. Please pardon me for that um, babbling. So to the wrong contract uh, network address. So it's just as simple as that. It's just as simple as that. Uh, uh, I must say, I must say, Binance have really done well to have added this process to to their platform. All right, before now it wasn't here, it wasn't here. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If at this point you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I bring to you all crypto hacks, daily hacks, and tutorials. So please do well to subscribe to my channel. Support me by subscribing, commenting, and sharing my videos to other persons to you know join in the community. And then we are moving to the permanent side and. We are doing where our community is getting broad day by day. All right. And those of you that are that are always contacting me on Instagram to tell me how helpful my videos are, it's really encouraging. And I really appreciate you because you have taken out extra my I've taken your time to do all that. So so I hope you learned something from the video. Hope you enjoyed the whole process. All right. So if you learned something, give this video a thumbs up. All right. Give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure that you you comment all right your comment means a lot because it helps uh the youtube algorithm to understand that there's really a bit of engagement going on here that people are really getting value here that's what your comment does so comment share this video sharing the video means that you it will now tell youtube that okay this video is really helpful to people all right so if you're learning something from my video please share them all right it will help a lot of person i believe a lot of videos have really saved a lot of person i receive a lot of testimonials daily that i cannot even post if you check my instagram you see a lot of them along the storyline all right so share the video to as much person as possible all right and then subscribe subscribe if you've not